Hi everyone, welcome back today. I've got something a little bit different today. I'm kind of doing it for myself, just so I can kind of remember the funny little quirks of this apartment after we leave, because we are leaving in very few short weeks. As you can probably tell from the title of the video, I'm gonna be sharing five quirky, strange, funny things about our little French apartment here. It should be kind of fun because I don't think I've mentioned any of these things anywhere before, um, and they are a little bit kooky. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get right into it. So the first one is that we do not have an oven. It was a bit of a shock to me when we first got here. I was looking through all the cupboards, like double checking the whole kitchen, like really there's no oven here, that is bizarre. And apparently it's not that uncommon. A lot of the places in Fontainebleau, well not a lot, I've asked a lot of people and a few of them also said they don't have ovens, which seems very strange to me. So all we have is a stove top, a very tiny micro uh, microwave, a little half size fridge, we also have no freezer, so we haven't had any like frozen fruit, which I, that's like my go-to healthy dessert in the evening. I used to always eat like bags of frozen fruit. Um, no ice cream or anything like that unless you wanna eat the whole jug in one go. Um, but our fridge is literally probably about this high. It's basically like a little camping size fridge. Um, and then our stove top, we have a sink obviously, no dishwasher, everything's by hand. And we have like a couple of spoons, couple of forks, one big pan, one small pan, um, like bare minimum. It's okay, it's a simple life, it's kind of nice that way. <laughs> but it does make it really hard for meals. We've been going crazy trying to think about, like we've been eat eating soup and chili and stir fries and like pan fried chicken breasts, like ever since we got here. So um, we're definitely looking forward to having an oven again in our next place. It's also a very small oven, but it is an oven. I will take it. I can't wait to have, the first thing we're gonna make is roasted vegetables. We're craving roasted vegetables. Oh. So number two is that the hard water here is insane. I know I've mentioned it with my hair a lot. If you've been watching my vlogs and stuff, I had a terrible time with my hair when we first got here because in Canada we have very soft water. We moved here to France. Instantly my hair was like going crazy with residue and I had no idea how to get it all out. I eventually figured out a really good system with vinegar rinse. So I just dumped some like um, diluted vinegar on my head when I'm in the shower and it tends to break it all up. But the only other thing that comes along with that is that our whole house mainly the kitchen and the bathroom, basically looks like we've spilt and sprayed milk all over the house. Like the, the water's that hard. It's lime scale buildup in the, in the water. So it has almost this like chalky consistency to it. it. Doesn't taste good for drinking, so we do filter it. But whenever you leave it on a surface, so like your kitchen counters or like the shower walls or anything, it basically looks like there's dried milk everywhere. Um, we had the same thing in London, so I constantly was keep cleaning the kitchen in London, but it is like a hundred times more here. And to top it off, all the finishings here in the kitchen and the bathroom, for whatever reason, are all black. So it shows up even more. And it's not easy to get off too, it's like really stuck on there. Um, so I'm constantly scrubbing down our whole, we have glass doors in our bathroom, constantly scrubbing all that down, all the tiling in the bathroom's all black, the floor is all black, so I'm on my hands and knees scrubbing that bathroom floor every other day. Probably should do it like twice a day, really, but I got kind of sick of doing it. And then the kitchen's the worst, because it's just black countertops, black stove top, black, it's everywhere. It just looks like a, a milky mess in this place. <laughs> Number three is that we don't have any sort of cable. We do have a TV here, but there is zero cable and we haven't signed up for anything additional. All we have is Netflix and YouTube. So within the first couple months of being here, I watched all of Friends and I am an avid YouTube watcher. Um, I've gone back and rewatched even some of my favorite YouTubers, a whole bunch of their videos because I'm kind of running out of things to watch. I'm big into like crime and like murder mystery stuff. So if you know anything good on Netflix, please let me know because five months in and I am going a little bit crazy with just Netflix and YouTube. I'm, we're definitely not those people that can just go without cable. Five months is fine, but um, I'm definitely looking forward to like watching the morning news in the morning again. <laughs> in fact, we were staying in Paris the other night and we woke up and we put on BBC. And when we were living in London, I never liked to watch BBC because London wasn't like home home. We like watching like global news from Canada and stuff. But BBC was on and just the sound of it and the way it's narrated and the, the way the imagery is all put together, the bright colors and everything, I was just like, oh. My God, I missed this. We sat there for like a good 20 minutes just watching BBC. It was lovely. Number four is that our house stinks. <laughs> 
And it's not because we're like dirty or anything into the actual house stinks, it's because we're always trying new French cheeses and because we have this tiny little fridge that's kind of like close to our the edge of the kitchen and into the living room, every time you open up the fridge, it just makes the whole house stink. The whole house is like open concept, lofty as well. Like we're upstairs right now, but the downstairs is all, it's all connected as one. There's no doors here. So the smell of French cheese completely takes over our house. If we know we're having anybody over, like when Ken's mom and aunt came over to visit us a few weeks ago, we made sure not to have any stinky cheese in the fridge. Um, and we ran over and got it right before they came because that stuff, it tastes so good but it stinks and it really holds into the house too. Like even a day after we've thrown away all our stinky cheese, the house still stinks. So if you're an unexpected guest at our place, I am sorry, we smell like stinky cheese. <laughs> and number five is that I go dumpster diving pretty much weekly. <laughs> It's because we have Airbnb people upstairs. There's constantly people rotating through upstairs and it's shared garbage and recycling outside the front. And I guess they're requested to throw all their stuff out in here and not have the cleaners do it because it seems like every week I have to go in there and pull out all this gross, nasty recycling stuff out of the recycling. Like they, they throw a lot of stuff into recycling that they shouldn't. And if I put those bins out, we just get a big red label across the top of it saying they're not gonna take it. And then we have to wait till the next week. So the first week that this happened, we did email the company saying like, look, someone needs to figure this out. It's not really in my rental agreement to be throwing out and sorting through other people's garbage. Um, and they did come by and sort it out, but it just happens over and over and over again. And they kind of just stopped helping us out with that. And unless I want our front yard to turn into a giant landfill, I'm gonna have to dumpster dive every week. <laughs> it's disgusting, yes, I know, but I have done worse things at work, so. There's that. Um, and one little bonus one is our hot water. I mean, this has been a huge chronicle. If you guys have been following for a long time through our French adventures here, the hot water has been a huge problem along with our intermittent internet and heating going on and off, all part of the fun of living in France. But the good news is that it has been fine for the last little while. We did have a big hiccup when we had our first guest here. Ken's cousin Pamela stayed with us. And this was like, uh, good month and a half, two months ago now, when it was still like zero degrees at night or in the evening, and our heating went out. So we called them and we said, look, we have people here, we're freezing, we're bundled up in blankets at night. This is not acceptable. We're not paying any more rent until you guys get our hot water going and we have heating. Two days later, we were still sitting in our house freezing. So I sent them a pretty testy email saying like, Come on, like, this is crazy. So they eventually did come over. A couple of tech guys went downstairs into the basement, flicked a button, and we've had hot water, unlimited hot water, and crazy heating ever since then. I was happy and furious all at the same time because we've been living without hot water for days sometimes. Our heating was capped out. It must have been like 50% or something because I was freezing. We had bought heaters, extra blankets. I bought extra sweatpants and sweaters just to like curl up in. When we first got here, it was like minus 10. So, I mean, I, I was frozen during the day. I had to like exercise and move around in the house just to keep warm. And I had a feeling the heating was capped out. I just had a feeling there was no way that was max heating. But anyways, they came in, flicked one button. They were like, oh, there you go. And we've had hot water ever since. So everything's been up and running. We haven't had any problems with the internet in a couple weeks, which is good. Um, and we have hot water and heat, just in time for us to move. <laughs> But anyways, it's all part of the adventure and it'd be fun to look back on at some point, I hope. We can say to our kids and to ourselves one day, like, remember that time we lived in that crazy little apartment with no internet and no cable, no heating and no hot water? We didn't have an oven. <laughs> ah, it's fun. On to our next adventure in just a few short weeks. We have signed a contract on our next apartment, so that is very exciting. It does have an oven and hopefully has heating and hot water. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's just five fun little facts about our life in France. I think it'll be fun for us to look back on one day. So make sure you go over and check out the blog. There's lots of postings going up over there all the time. Um, I have a really great day trip from Rome post up right now if you're interested in that. And make sure you go and follow me over on my Instagram. It's just at Andrea Claire with two A's at the beginning there. And if you aren't already, already subscribed here, it is free. All you have to do is click the little subscription button at the bottom of this video. There should be a little icon down at the bottom there or you can go over to my main page and subscribe there. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.